welcome back to the Dundonald International Ice Bowl. This week we're going to be looking at some more advanced steps and footwork and we're going to also be working on triple jumps. So let's get started with some footwork. Right. Firstly, we talked about forward stroking in both directions and this is just an exercise to combine the two to make a fluid transition from the left curve to the right. Now, as we said, when you're skating in a counterclockwise direction, this arm is in front, pointing where you're going, and this one where you've been. Now, to change to the clockwise direction, you have to change the shoulders. And it's the same circular rotation, just bringing, transferring this arm, replacing it with this one. Okay, so let's try that from here. One. So we'll just do a forward inside edge. One, two, forward inside edge. Change the shoulders. Forward inside edge, change the shoulders. Forward inside edge, one, two, change the shoulders. Okay, right, let's start from this corner, start from about here. Emma, if you'd like to go first, and forward inside edge, one, two, change the shoulders, change the shoulders. Now, the right arm in front, the left arm, two steps, forward inside edge, two steps, forward inside edge. I change the shoulder, two steps forward inside edge, change the shoulder, forward, no, <laughs> I kind of got that wrong. <laughs> right, let's just talk about that a little bit. Now, on a forward inside edge, one usually starts with the opposite arm in front, and that's what we're always doing on the forward inside, okay? So, we have opposite arm in front, then you bring it round to the stroking position. Then you have the opposite arm in front for this edge, around, and then you're on the right position for the inside edge. The right position for the inside edge. See? Now, let's look at the same kind of step except done on a narrower curve and a much faster stroking, okay? Frida, can we have the seasons, please? Thank you. What we're going to do is exactly the same step, really, but we're just going to do it much faster. So it is cross over, cross over, cross over, cross over, changing the arc on each. Let's just practice that while we're waiting for the music. Okay, let's start up here. Thank you, Frida. And, ooh. Good job, that's it, very good. Good, very good, very good, well done. Neil. Keep the arms steady, Neil. Don't bounce them, that's good. Keep looking up. Good boy. Kathy. Good. Keep the eyes up and the arms nice and steady. Very good. Emma. Good girl. Norma. Keep looking up, Norma. Relax. <laughs> Good. One, two, step inside. Good, you've got the step now. Good, Terry. Right. Okay. Now we're going to do some backward crossovers. 
We have to do the backwards crossovers. Now, remember how I asked you to stand up straight, bend the knees. Then if you just twist your body half a rotation to the right and half a rotation to the left, you're in the perfect position for the backwards crossover. It's as simple as that. I don't want to see you leading the whole thing from here like that. You just skate backwards on two feet, bend your knees, look where you're going, very important. And then stroke. So, Emma, nice wide step here. That's it. Get full power. Now, if you'd lift your chin a little and rather try and broaden your chest, yes. Now, really go down in the knees and give us whoa, full power. Step, come on, as if you really want to push. Keep the arms absolutely steady. Yes, good. All right. Okay. That was nice. Um, Terry, you go the other way. So we'll start by gliding backwards on two feet. Bend. That's right. Look where you're going. Try and step wide. Now try and keep the arms absolutely steady. That's it and relax in the knees. Relax, relax. Good. All right. OK, no, it's fine. How does that feel? Yeah, it felt OK. So yes? Better than what I normally would do, you know, without the bobbing up and down and that. You know, you get a, yes. a much smoother stroke. But, yes, uh, and of course, any kind of economy that you can make in movement, in other words, anything that you can leave out which isn't absolutely necessary, leave out. Now, let's look at two other ways of turning without turning the skate, but turning through stepping from a forward direction to a backwards direction. The first one, very simply, is a mohawk, which goes from a forward inside edge, feet together, back inside edge. OK? So we'll do mohawk, step, glide backwards, step through. OK? Norma. OK, good. Terry. Good. Another one. Good. Very good. OK. Now, another turn along this line is the Choctaw, which is much, much more difficult. I will tell you right off. And all it is is you skate from a forward inside to a backwards outside, forward inside, backwards outside, forward inside, backwards outside. OK. Let's try that. Right forward inside. Now, the foot, the foot comes in front, and you put the outside edge on the ice and hold the other foot behind you. If the free foot then stays behind, then you put the free foot down again and lift up. So let's work on that, Kathy. OK. So we take a forward inside edge, point, turn the foot out, and put it back on the back outside, hold the leg behind you. OK, let's just try that. OK, right, now let's try not look down, because by leaning forwards, you're bringing the weight out where it needn't be. That's right. And now step up. That's beginning to happen. Yes. OK, right. Now, Kathy, I want to see you leave this leg behind here. Yes, now it's just coming to the side. Now let's just leave it behind. That's the idea. That's it. That's right. Now put this foot down again and pick the other one up. And now have to put it down <coughs> forwards there, right? So look. And then you bend both knees, put it down forward inside. OK? Yes. Yes, it's twisting. 
The forward inside, you've got to have a strong check here, and you have to hold that. When you do the turn, you can't let everything spin around. You have to leave your shoulders facing this way. So, leave the shoulders facing here, and one, two, one, two, one. Very good. That's an excellent start. Now, let's see Emma do some of these at speed. I think it's true to say, isn't it, that these steps are <laughs> what you might call the skater's nightmare, but let's have a go. Good, you're getting the shoulders staying in, in place. Yes. Now, if we could do a little less with the arms. <laughs> I, try, I keep thinking that I'm going to hit the wrong edge. Well, yes, if you think you're going to get <laughs> yes. forward inside, I know. So if you can really try and set yourself as much as possible. There. You know what I think would help you? A little bit more knee bend. Again, there's a kind of bounce to it. Look, I mean, there's a kind of softness in the knee here. Uh, bend, 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 bend. Okay. Ah, do I detect a little cheat here? <laughs> Are you doing a slight forward three turn here before you get Quite the foot possibly. off? Quite <laughs> possibly. So let's just put a couple of these steps that we've done together. We have a forward inside mohawk, and then we'll do a back inside three turn, and then we'll do a chop tour. Okay? <laughs> okay, now let's just think for a second. <laughs> I heard the groans of unhappiness as I suggested this. But if you take each step, and do it to its fullest. So in other words, make sure from the very first step, you stretch the leg here. You stretch it so you have a nice control position. This is checked. Now it's in the perfect inside edge position. So if you execute the three turn well, you're in a much better position to have a go at the, uh, the uh, chop tour. Thank you, I'm gonna work with Emma on some triple jumps now. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you. Right. Now, I would say to anyone who's working on the triples yes. that you have to go through the double and make sure that's absolutely correct beforehand, wouldn't you? Yes, definitely. It's the same with, the, I find, a lot of young skaters start the doubles before they can handle the singles, the singles and yes. it gives them all kinds of faults. But you have a very good double, so let's just see a double one first. All right, do you feel ready to try the triple, or would you like to do another double? Um, no, I think I'm ready. Yes. Not far enough around the No, tool. that one didn't make it around. It was very, felt very rushed. Yes. No, nothing could Well, I, that's exactly what I was going to say. I'm just wondering if this is like, one, three, four, five, six feet. Whereas this one is one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. You see, on the double one, yes. you took eight feet from the three turn to the point. So you only took six on, six on this one, which means not only was it shorter, but it was obviously rushed. rushed. Yes, yes, yes. Although it's a triple jump, yes, it it in a way demands more time oh, for yes. the preparation. Yes. So let's try one more and really see if you can take your time on the preparation. All right, well, that was better, I think. It was a better one. You gave yourself maybe an extra half a foot of takeoff. Now, let's go through the, the preparation in slow motion. You do the forward three turn. Now, you've got to feel here, before anything happens, that you've controlled that edge. OK, then you change feet. And again, as you change feet, be conscious of this, because this is what's going to hold you there. And really, most of it comes from this arm here, right? Yes. So now bring that arm around. Yes. Okay. All right.
If you look at some of the really uh, good triple toe wallies, such as Robin Cousins, certainly, you'll notice how the preparation is set up very clearly. The arms don't move, turn around the body before the jump. Do you find that when maybe you're having a bit of a problem, go back to the double one? Yes. Establish what you want to change in the triple, in the double. So let's do the double again and really make sure that you give it a nice long back edge and that you keep this nicely in place. Okay, how did that feel? It felt a little higher. I did yeah, it was feel a nice more push up. It was a nice jump. All right, the triple. Uh, you really off balance. swung that one wide. Do you ever go through the, my, the jump in your mind, as it were? Just stand perfectly still, and you don't have to shut your eyes, but if you think of exactly what's going to happen moment for moment, and sense yourself through the entire jump and right through to the coming out. Yes, do do I that? do. I do do that, and I land the jump perfectly well. But then, when it comes to actually doing it, I either lift the mm. shoulder or drop mm. the shoulder, or do mm. something totally different. And I know as soon as I've done it, what I've done wrong. Mm. But um, mm. okay, let's go for this triple one. Come on now, let's have a bit of determination. Let's have a go. That one, you could have landed. It was a good one. All right, I always think that if you're having a day when the jump isn't going right, go back to the double and finish with a really oh, nice yes. double one. I really feel much better with that. Good. I really do feel the spin much good. better. Okay. So we'll have to carry on with the triple some other time. Yes, definitely. All right. OK, come on. OK, now we're going to look at spread eagles and Ina Bowers. Now, to some degree, this does depend, again, on the amount that one can turn the hips out. But we can start small, as it were, and build up. The forward inside spread eagle, which is a very, can be a very useful step for getting around corners, or if you bend the front leg, it becomes an inside Ina Bauer. Okay? Now, an exercise to gently try and stretch these inside muscles and to feel the turnout is this is what I like to do. You skate forward inside and take the leg back in a very small second position. That's the feet slightly apart. And then you bend both knees, trying to keep the hips under you, not like this, OK? And then stretch them again and let the feet go a little bit wider. OK, shall we try that? Norma. Try it the other way, maybe. On the other foot, it's a little easier for you. Arm in front and keep this arm in front. Okay. Terry. Okay, good. That's good, Terry. Can you do the outside one as well? You can't, ah. Kathy. You don't have that much turnout either, do you? Let's just try standing with your feet apart in an easy position. And then just relax your knees and try not to let your bottom go forward. And then straighten your knees again, keeping your hips pulled up at the front. OK, spread eagles are not exactly essential, but they certainly are useful for all kinds of reasons, other than just the look of them. They do help to train you to turn your legs out. When you do turn your legs out, again, 
Think of operating from the inside of your leg. Don't, whatever you do, try and force the foot out and then let this pull in the knee here and the foot, because that's very bad for the inner knee. OK, now let's look at the outside spread eagle. And then change onto the inside edge. Again, if you want to, you can go onto an inner bower. You can go on. OK. Now, this is even a little bit more turned out. So it's not a good idea, if you can't do it, to try and force yourself. And to do one with your hips back like that isn't worth it, because that's just plain ugly. OK, and if ever you're trying to do any form of turnout, work from the top of the leg, not from the foot, all right? OK, now let's carry on with our piece of music and put some of the steps that we've done today onto the music. So we had finished with a forward run, and we were on the left foot with the right foot raised. So we shall go mohawk, one, two, back outside, three turn. OK, now this is quite tricky, so let's Let's mark it carefully to begin with. All right, so let me see you. Emma, you go in the front so people have something to watch. Back outside, three turn, check. One, two, step, stop. OK? All right. Shall we go through the whole thing with the music and uh, put this on the end? All right. Thank you, Frida. OK, and. I really exaggerate the down of this, and then the down, and. Let's see, a higher free leg to the back, and then higher to the front. Higher to the back, that's more like it. Higher, good. And Heel forward and lift the head as the leg comes through. Good. Good. And stand very tall and stop. Now, generous waltz turn. Good. Very nice. Now, let's see nice stretch legs. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, stop. OK, fine. Well, that's the end of today's program. We shall all be back at the Don Donald Ice Rink for the next program, when we shall be working on some more triple jumps, combinations, and generally just talking about all the things we've been practicing in this series and maybe putting a few of them together. I hope you can join us. Bye-bye. And you can see that final lesson tomorrow afternoon at the same time, 1.50.